like when you're making an album, it's not just you're putting songs together. You're deciding what you're going to be talking about for the next two years. And so when I thought about what message do I want to carry into people's lives for the next two years, it was that now is not forever. Mm. Sometimes we try to use now, we use what we know about now to frame what we know about forever. Yeah. So if I'm hurting now, I'll hurt forever. If I'm single now, I'll be single forever. If um, my friends betray me now, I will always be betrayed by people forever. And mm -hmm. we use these things. If my life is hard now, if they're bullying me now, if I can't get ahead financially now, then that is my destiny and that's what my forever is going to look like. But as believers, we have the opportunity to flip that and use what we know about forever to inform what we believe about now. Woo! I feel something on it. I feel something on that right there. <laughs> That's true. That so true. We can use what we know about forever to inform what we know about now. And the scripture gives us this beautiful insight that weeping may endure for a night. Yeah but joy comes in the morning. That lets me know that all of my problems have an expiration date. Mm -hmm. That whatever I am walking through right now, I don't have to carry with me for the rest of my life or into eternity. And I think it's so important for us as believers in this particular moment in history to pull back the lens, to take in a panoramic view of the world, of the culture, and of our lives. And to know that there is a reality beyond this reality. Yeah. That even all of the heartache and the disappointment that we experience in life right now is not worthy to be compared, is what Paul said, to the glory that is to be revealed. That glory may only be revealed in glimpses on this side of eternity. Right. But one day we will step into eternity and all that there will be to behold is the goodness of the glory of God. And it's a place where there's no weeping, there's no sadness, there's no sickness, there are no funerals. In fact, it's the place where the dead in Christ rise and they get to be seated next to Jesus. So I hope that someone is encouraged right now to just know joy comes in the morning and mm -hmm. there only may be glimpses of sunlight in the here and now, but eternity with Jesus is the promise and the hope of the believer. Yeah. And you have that promise and it's alive for you today. That's awesome. Preach it. <laughs> I, I just, you, you caught me on one. 